Welcome back to Factorio Megabase in the book and we are finally going to start on one of the things that uh, I know that some of you have probably been aching for me to get started on and that is the awfulness of the purple signs. That's what we're going to be starting on today so this will be a couple of episodes I would imagine just to get all of it sort of hashed out. What we're going to do today is start with the initial design part and then work our way starting to hook it up and uh, I did some uh, preliminary calculations and it does not look good. What does not look good? The amount of steel, to be perfectly honest, and the amount of space. So let's uh, let's have a look at it. So uh, what I'm doing here. Oh, before we dive in, right, let me just extend my thanks to all of you who are keep following my factorial content. It is wonderful to see that you are still interested in it. I know that I have stopped streaming on factorial on Twitch, but uh, I'm still I haven't left Factorio for sure, and I'll be back on Twitch at some point when there's some something that draws me back. In the meantime, I'm having a absolute blast with this design. Slow, methodical, and uh, effective is, and uh, it is of course much more fun when there is a good, strong support for this. So thank you very much, all of you who are supporting. Likes, comments, subscriptions, and of course patrons. Thank you very much. Let's dive on into design. So this is, there is no doubt that it's going to be a design of the same size as this. There are simply too many things that come into a purple science build that we also need to, we need to have two blocks. And uh, so we need to figure out what are the supporting things. We will have like these two up here for the purple science. Then we can move down and look at steel, 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 probably. And we need some red and we need some greens and we need some bricks. So what I actually found out is that the amount that this will create it's going to take a lot of steel well not surprising that it's going to take a lot of steel but let's uh, go down there and uh, actually do some design work i think we'll build it up top i don't think it's necessarily the smartest move but uh, i was never known to do the smartest move so uh, i i like this way uh, we also have our fully stocked oh that's interesting what are they not stocking oh beacons are actually kind of not running not fully available okay that's interesting i'm going to move you down here though just so you're ready. And uh, in the meantime, let's also see we are just diligently working up here. Let's have a look at that one. What I really want to do is just get this part sorted. And uh, until then, do we really want to make more concrete, more solar? Yeah, I do think we want to make more solar like this. And I think we also then... What? Oh, really? They were not even done. Then I think the good practice would be continuing this one one higher. So that it's always like expanding out like that. Yep, I think that's a good move. That'll make somewhat sense. And we're down here. Sweet. Well, all of this is something we've uh, been looking at before. So we are going to try to get some kind of similarities with this part. Now, how much similarities do we actually need? I think actually to the point of just copying the whole thing is easier and then from there on making the changes that are different is probably going to be faster. I am absolutely, oops, hello, how to save. There and there I'm guaranteeing I do not want anything inbound because all of this is going to be incorrect. We do have this uh, Spidertron, so let's actually get our Buildertron in here as well. I know some people have been saying like, oh, get a better Robofort. But I think that it's, if I get a better Robofort, then it's, I feel it's a slippery slope for me that then I'll just get like infinitely super fast. And then it kind of just detracts a bit from the sort of the awesomeness of actually being able to build this. It also forces me to use the Spidertrons a lot more than I maybe usually would, which is uh, also a good thing. Now, all of these stations are probably going to be incorrect, and that's what we will need to look at. I am sure that we don't have... Oh, okay. And uh, you, my friends, are not having enough of that. Just go down here, go over there, and then start looping back again and see if there's something we're missing. We are missing tracks, of course. That always seems to be the case of missing tracks. Oh, there's still some things here. Let's uh, go up and grab some more tracks. And hmm, we apparently have enough steel chests. We almost never have enough steel chests. There. Yeah. Oops. Ha, that was a satisfactory command. Shift clicking and assuming that would take everything. This looking good. 
Right, so now the question is, is this actually what we want? Well, if we look at the inputs, well, what do we need for this? I need up here, let's change it to being purple signs. Purple signs, and this one will be a, nope. Will be red inbound. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's get some reds inbound. They are needed for the furnaces. All right. Let's for everyone's uh, reminder here. Oh, I can actually handcraft some. That's that's very odd. <clears throat> so that will require some electric furnace and some productivity module. Electric furnace is a lot of steel, a lot of red circuits, and a lot of stove bricks. And productivity module is a lot of red circuits and a lot of green circuits so what we want to do now is the this is the top one the next one uh will be different that will actually be stone inbound look at that we have this one but that's not the one we're going to use because that is deliberately marked with a blue assembler because it is like starter base thing Right, so this is something we don't even have yet. We do not have this, and therefore it's uh, going to be a problem. The next one we want, well, we also need some stone bricks, don't we? I'm pretty sure, yeah, we do need stone bricks. So let's uh, get that as well. Here we'll get some stone bricks. They are over here. Stone bricks needed for the blast furnace. Oh, and not blast furnace, just furnace, electric furnace. And there. Yep. And the next one... We also need some more green. The green is going to come from... Let's do that. The green is going to into the productivity module, so that should also be a thing, and that will also be a dedicated one. And then this is going to be iron for the iron sticks for the rails. Yes. And down here, it is definitely not going to be that one. Now we're gonna need so much steel, like so, so much steel. Did I mention that we need a lot of steel? Oh, we need a lot of steel. We need even more than a lot of steel. Oh, it's actually set up to steel already. That's perfect, because this is gonna be steel, more steel. Just keep, I don't know, I don't care how much steel you have, you don't have enough steel. Definitely not. And uh, that, I guess, is the location where we jump. There. So this will be eight lanes of steel going into this location. It seems excessive, yes, but it actually is super necessary. I will do that one again. And is this connected? Nope, it's not. It's also a weird location, isn't it? Here. Right, steel, this should be, oh, hold on. It should obviously be for the purple science steel there. And this is going to be 72 up here. This is the iron part and it's sending iron out and it's 72. Yes. Copy that. This is twice as much. So, yep, that's actually good. Oh, wow. We are, uh, we're lucky here. That fits. Next one is bricks. Definitely not. Bricks here. They stack to 1,000 or 100. Next one is stone bricks. So that stacks to mm, less. Half as much. 36 and 16,000. There's definitely an easy way to do this. Uh, since everything is either 16,000, 32,000 or 1,000 or 64,000. There's definitely something that could, could have been done in, in here. That one is reds and that means here we'll just mark it as red all right so we now have all of that yes so now we need to do the design part and luckily we also have some benchmarks on that first of all i'm going to take you a bit further away because i don't want you going there then i want to see if things are working here let's get this sorted once that's sorted we'll get the rest of the Landfill out. Once the last of the landfill out, we can continue this filling up this one.
Excellent. Wow. We need a mega base to build just to build the solar panels. By the way, I think that someone will ask me, hey, how's it going with the power? And right now we are on solar power. Let's have a look. Solar power spikes up here. During the night, we do have steam turbines online. I think that's just because they always go online anyway. They are not secondary. And making steam turbines a secondary power source is by switching it off isn't very easy because it has so much latent heat in the nuclear power plant. So you can't just switch it off easily. It will still keep burning anyway. So that's uh, that's just something. When you have it, you it, it's always burning. And this one, I'm pretty sure, will also need to be changed to a purple science once we have that. And of course, the other one here, purple science. Right. So that was the easy part. Now go to our clean blueprint library <laughs> way too clean unfortunately i'm going to disable my personal robot port and i'm going to find purple signs so we're going to need to have two of these and i think i need to make it quite far down because i need so much spaghetti mess up top that i think i'll have to do this um this is not symmetric do I like it then? No, I do not like it. I do not like it if it's not symmetric. Like this part. I think this is the one that has to be changed. That's something where I've... Oops, uh, that's not it. Something where I definitely changed my mind since I designed it. Okay, now the next part is... Okay, it should <clears throat> should work, right? We, we love when I, when I say it should work. Uh, but it should work unless... The only reason why it wouldn't work when you flip is if you have something that inserts in the direction of flow. What does that mean? Like, if you do something like this, then it won't flip correctly. So as long as you don't do that, then it will flip correctly. This thing is a mess as well. It'll have to be done different. And let's see, this comes in on the outside belt. Yep. So that is an option. Yep. Or maybe like this is even better. Oh, don't build like this. And... I'll copy this thing. Boom. Not you. Um, but this one. Yeah. So this is... I like it. I think this is correct. It looks better. And then at this point, I will be building some kind of usual build. I've already come to terms with the fact that I will definitely need to remove it at some point here. There. Yes, I think that makes sense. We'll make, does it make more sense to do this? Nah, we'll, we'll build it like this. Um, what could make more sense is doing it this way. Because that would look better. Very marginal, but I think it might look better. Is this the correct location? Probably is. Let's have a look. Now, here comes the tricky part. Like, really tricky, I guess. Hmm. I need this thing to merge together. That means... And I need to merge it as fast as possible because I need... I need balancing. Actually, you can also go down as well. Actually, that might actually be much simpler to do that. Right? So, one, two, three, four... Oh, this is much nicer. I 
And then we can build our blueprint. Our 8 to 8 bouncer. Oh, that's a long way to scroll to 8 to 8. There, the little fat one. There we go. That one. And, you know, it's actually not the worst thing that could happen. There. That has to go here. Maybe just a bit down as well. Like that. I need to make sure that I can actually go back. That'll be one. Two. Three. Here. So this is already the first one, and I think by far the hardest one. Now I need to figure out where I need to put things. And this is definitely not going on both sides. So this has to be only on the inside on the belt that is closest to here. And since that's the one at the top, well, that's going to be fun to be make. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, where do we have thing? Oh, this is not good. I can't have an intersect with that. So that means all of this again. Where was it? Was it here? I think so. I need to move it one over. And that's luckily not the biggest issue with this since we didn't actually build it. We only kind of templated it there good and this will go up to this the very top obviously not like this now let's see where do we need do we need something to be combined yes here are something to be combined these two need to be next to each other so that is good we'll combine it up at the location where it is coming off the train. These two. Sweet. And they will be the first to be split. And there. So that means... Maybe like this? No. Nope. That is definitely as close as we can get it. And I think they want it to be as close as we can get it. And that means the other one, this will be the green circuits there. Oh, that's what? Oh, right. Iron is here, green circuits here. Yes. Which will then mean it goes that way. Sweet. Yes, that is good. And let's see if I can... Uh, can I replicate it anywhere? Well, I could. It'll be the inner ones here. And then it's the same pacing. Yes. Let's kill all of that. That one, that one, that one. Obviously not. I really like this part. It's 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 gonna look nice. And there. Take these out. Try again. So 
So with that done, we are now having, well, it's not quite there because obviously it will be this. Oh, that's not great. That actually needs to be taken just a bit down then. There. Yeah. We don't need to build all of it, do we? No, we don't. We don't need to build all of it. Just some of this. Yeah, but just one more thing. Just one more thing. Yeah, and you can actually be here. That's okay, that's okay, and that's okay. Okay, so that is actually the first one going in, and I think it looks very crisp. I'm going to figure out where the next one goes. Uh, that will be here. Okay, stone bricks, is that the next one? Because stone bricks seems to be then easy. What is the next? This is stone bricks, okay. Stone bricks will need to be split as well. Although it should get... It does say that it wants full belts inbound. But what's going on here? It picks up and then also puts in here. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to make it into full belts at this location and this location. Yep. We'll only make the first one from now on and then I'll be just copy pasting it myself afterwards. But I think we want to test each one. And see if we can build something that I think looks good. I think the most important part about this one is that it kind of looks okay. And this one will be a very basic one. It'll just be like a normal. Like this. Yeah, so split it half and half. All right, next one is going to be here. But that only has, that has to be only on the outside. Now I'm, from here, I'm looking at outside because this steel is merging on the inside so that's another little challenge we have to figure out how to do that properly still a chance that the whole thing needs to be moved and yeah Remember, it's the inside one. It's the inside one we're looking at. Inside one only. This will exactly be... No. This one I'm looking at now is the red one. And, ooh, we're being attacked somewhere. Interesting. Yes. So that is good. Except for that one. Nope. Except for that one. This will be our inner one. So that needs to go to somewhere in the middle. Um, let's do the same as this one. This makes no sense, I think. But it will get us to what we want. Will it not? Let's see. No, it actually won't be at all get us to where we want. Um, is this a problem? 
It's kind of... Oh, it's kind of a problem. Alright. Go there, and then go... There, and then go afterwards, go back. And looks like we have the entire lane here. Sorted. Good. Ah, there was a little glip there, but that's minor. That means what we can, should do is... Build these 19. And then... Build this part. Oh, that hurts. That's going to take a while. Good. So let me see. This one goes in here. Nothing goes on the other side. That just makes it out on the outer belt. That is brilliant. It's exactly what I wanted. And the last one. This will not need to be going on the other side of the belt. Can you just please stop that uh, annoying sound of me being attacked there? Ah! Can you? I don't have time for that. I'm designing stuff. There. Where are you being attacked? Okay, okay, okay. But you're coming, you're coming. It's just a bigger and bigger area that gets wrecked every time. Here. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. It's right below. Right, so that will be red and stone and stone bricks and green and iron. And all of it goes into here and then the monstrous amount of steel. And once we have that, it should be good to go. I'm just going to build the other ones, and then we'll be having the spider tons actually uh, fill it out. So let's, uh, I'll be back once this is done. And I think we've managed to untangle all of this now, and uh, it looks really neat. So let's see if it actually works. And what we're going to do is just simply enable this one and go actually have our spider tons go into the lower part. Because, well, the spider tons have the most capacity, so they should be taking where there's more stuff to do. And already my robots are strained. But the Spiratrons, they are not going to be strained so easily. Ah, look at that. That is insane. Well, it's very, very nice. It's, it works for sure. Let's, uh, in the meantime, we have uh, just sent our Spiratrons army up here, Bidotrons, to go up there. I don't know. Oh, look at that. It's actually... It's actually taking some a beating up here. That's interesting. This one is being touched by the pollution that's actually oh that's the damn uh, part here so here's a here's a trick water does has very low pollution absorption landfill has no absorption absorption if you want to add some absorption then you nuke it and the nuclear craters actually have a, a are is possible to absorb some pollution so if you just nuke everything then uh, it uh, nuclear craters are good at absorbing pollution How's that for a random fact that makes no sense? But I think it's so little that it doesn't really make sense. But it would be nice to do something. I really would, that's, I think that's one of my big wishes for like minor things for the expansion, whenever the hell that comes out. That's gonna be a way to actively manage pollution. Right now it's just, well, it, I, there's nothing I can do about this. It's just, pollution is here, oh well. Oh well, too bad. And that's it. That's all I can do. I could just mean I can clear the biters when they are there, but uh, if if that's it, then then that's it, right? So let's get this one done, and uh, I think that we need to set up some of the other locations. Well, I oh I can I can probably fix these things, right? Yep, that one. Uh, what about the, our rover port area for this area? Is that oh it's actually perfect because I copied it from the other one. So I think we can actually start working. Well, if I start working, what are we gonna get in? We're gonna get this iron in, that's it, that's it. <laughs> and then we need to build all the other cool things down here. What are the things that we want to do most of? So, it's tempting to, oh no, I also, since I have red here, I also need plastic. So I need red, plastic, green. That means it's red, plastic, no, red, green, plastic, and then lots of steel down there. Obviously, we can't get enough steel for this, 
or stone bricks for that matter but stone bricks probably also need to be dedicated so it's really a big issue here that it's uh it this is going to take four steel one red one green one plastic one stone brick and then two for the actual purple builds that's 10 city blocks in total and we have seven available so obviously i need this to disappear where are we at we're at twenty one thousand, and this one is at eleven thousand, and they're just waiting to be taken in so that's um hmm, well it's a problem i think the right spider should have enough to finish this right so this will be absolutely huge and my intention is still to just plow down here and then make it 10 wide and some of these things will just have to find another way to be there like this one can't be there anymore but that's okay it's it's not particularly interesting i don't think i need it for here i could i don't know i don't know it's still like six million <laughs> but it's working as long as it's it's burning through this as fast as it can then uh, it's good Right, what do we want? Uh, we want to enable this, I think. I think that's the important part. Let's just enable it and then see that something comes in. And then we start working on some of the residual ones. Uh, so the, we'll, we'll build some of the normal ones. One, two, three, four steel is not very fun. So I'm going to take this out, this out, and I will make the... Let's do it this way. I love that we can just do it this way. Go up to red. There. That's red. And then continue to go up. Plastic. Mm, no. Green circuits. There. Go down. Plastic. Here. And then we make some steel. Steel smelting from plate. There and there. And that will be at least a start. It'll get us started on some of it. Oops, some things are coming in. And I will just have you go back, I guess. Should I go back with it? I don't know. And there's the fueling. Fueling, as in the damn goblins in Valheim. Nope, not that. that it's a fueling train. Fueling train? I don't know. Let's keep going. This one will be absolutely strained building all of this. There's one thing that I need to build, and that's down here. I'm just walking through this. No way that's ever going to work. Uh, all of this crap here. That is absolutely insane, the amount of stuff we need to build. And also, the amount of power this will require. So, I'm going to stand here, and then I'm going to go to my... Let's see. Plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because in this plastic, I do not have this part. Including tiles. Thank you. Get that. There. And build it again. There. And I also think that I am missing... 20 of these as always always missing 20 of those and i also think i'm missing 16 here and that means it would have been a good idea not to send the train home oops and where's the spider john spider john is working i want to build all of this first because i don't want to send things in just yet and this is where you can really see that a it requires a mega base because this is just an absolute insane amount and i think this also emphasizes how or why this is a good design because how fast did i just build all of this well technically i didn't build it but at least <clears throat> i didn't have to sort of design it meticulously and some of it might be too big and some of them i like the plastic for example is way overscaled doesn't matter then it'll just be idle a lot of the time and uh, idle things don't really take a lot of updates and we have a stupidly powerful PC, so uh, if we manage to get this to to uh, to yeah to max out, and uh, then I'm gonna be happy. Then I'll I'll see that as a success. So clearly in view.
What about up here? Can we now get more of this? Let's go down to the generic ones here. Yes, we can expand it. What is our situation on landfill? Uh, it's 59,000, so that's absolutely not a problem. And what is our situation on science here? Okay, it's actually the space science that's lagging. Is it lagging? Oh, it's lagging because of that one. That's actually an interesting thing that we want to do. Look at that. All of this and this is still lagging. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to say interesting. I mean, it's, it's big. And can I just do something like this? Uh, it should be a repeatable pattern. Uh, first, I think I want to do that one. And then I will find that repeatable pattern like this. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? Who knows? It might be running out of some of these things, but that's... it. it sh I should have enough of that. Uh, okay. And Spidertons, they are just absolutely refusing to work at this point. So they will need to go home. Let's see if they we can get them to do some some things. Yeah, just a tiny thing. They might have a few rails left, that kind of thing. But they also need to go back and replenish. So I so will I. So will I. So what we're gonna do is uh, I am going to hitch a ride with the Spidertrons, and once I am, then I'll just safely get back to the main base, replenish, and come back out. Here for another blitz. Oh, there are actually things coming in. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's certainly not safe. And there. Also, we have this one in the meantime. I'm just going to do that and then we'll be back in a bit with, uh, with more building power. And we are now back here to uh, our location with fully stocked Spidertrons. I am not fully stocked. I could not get enough uh, beacons here. So that is an interesting little uh, conundrum here. What we do not have in this location is the fact that all of these stations are now generic and they should absolutely not be generic. They should be purple science located or purple science dedicated. So something like this one. I will just copy the stuff in front and say, you think you're called red? No, you're called red into that. You will be, yep, that's just gonna be a generic one. That's gonna be a generic one. This one is, and maybe that's a mistake, but that's now not dedicated as a generic one or illustrated. And here we have unloading that's iron and copper. They are not, oh, sorry. I should not call it generic. I should call it common. Common is a much better name. Like, um, you're stating that yes, it is a common product. And uh, that's, I think that's a much better term for it. And now I did this thing I did again. I always, always, always seem to forget these 40 of those, but that's a, uh, there is a while. It's going to take a while before that one is ready. At least I don't want to build all of the trains yet because well, there's a lot of things here that are not ready. No path, no path, really? That's the exit. Okay, we're definitely going to build that there. Then you can go out. Uh, we want to make sure that they can unload and there okay so they were also waiting for an exit path you have an exit path and where is my spidertrons spidertrons oh dear the spidertrons don't have any oh we have run out of blue belts wow where's my blue belts blue belts panic oh this looks bad why is that so bad Oh, this is so interesting. And by interesting, I mean horrifying. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. Oops. So what happens here is that I am no longer consuming enough of my low density structure, of, of my petroleum in my base. Because what am I using petroleum for? Plastic? Yeah, but not really. What am I using plastic for? Not really anything, right? Like, yeah. I'm using a tiny bit of petroleum here. We're using a tiny bit of low density structure here, or a tiny bit of plastic for the low density structure. I'm using some light oil here, but it's not overwhelming in any case, not the same as it used to be. You can see how slow this is moving. And because of that, we are running out of things. That also means that the easiest way to fix this is simply to do that. Take those out and build them back again. 
if I could just get someone to do that. And maybe you want to... You Maybe you want to do that? I mean, why not? And then I just undo. Oh yeah, you can't do it anyway. Because you don't have that. So once this is built, then we will be getting more lubricant in here as well. <clears throat> yeah, not those. The other two. So right now, all of this is stalling because it is jammed in terms of this. What, how are we going to solve this in the long term? Well, what we could solve it is to bring lubricant in on a dedicated train. Because we have lubricant being, pr produ being produced. Then that just becomes where. Uh, it could be over here because honestly, this does not need a stacker. This is a very silly location to have a stacker. It is unfortunately not something we can have, we can deal with right now. That is uh, something I'll have to... But you know what? It's it's something that I want to be able to fix. And uh, until we fix it, we are going to have like massive up issues. So let's... Uh... Ooh, water? Okay. Let's kill all of this. And now, unfortunately, robots are not very responsive in terms of getting stuff done because they, I, I kind of gave them a, quite a few commands here that one and i pretty sure we have one of those commands that could use right don't we have one of those that are input to both sides huh yeah there this one this is the one we want yeah yeah i thought i i knew i had it somewhere and that will now be the new one here why not there and also kind of do this part except not this and not this interesting that's the beauty of of Victoria. i mean this suddenly there's something different that's just not working i love that <laughs> You know, in a weird way, I do love that. There. Weird way. It's, it's just really nice to just go, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming. And also, definitely this is not it. It's way too far out. We'll do this. And then I'll just do flip. Yeah. Flip. One more. They were just coming in. There. Yeah, that's much better. And then I'll take this one again. Oh, I'm actually here. I'm actually here. Sweet. And this one will be... Lubricant? Sure. Just a lubricant build. And then I need a lubricant unloader. Where do we have a lubricant unloader? We have that somewhere for the yellow signs. There, that's a lubricant unloader. I'm just gonna copy this because it's gonna be correct. And all of that is completely irrelevant right now. I'll find a different way to solve that. Here. And it has to go out on this side. Well, it doesn't have to, but it wants to. There. I'm going to do this and I'm going to try to not kill myself. You're welcome to yell at me in the comment section. Feel free. There you go. Yell away. That one. This should be working by itself. And it is. Sweet. And take this out. Do that one. That one. Power. Here. Here it comes. And 
Hmm, it's actually already better, but it will jam at some point. Yeah. We're definitely making sure that it pumps this way, both of them. So it goes in here. Good. These are working. They are just not getting enough gears. There's very little I can do about... Well, there's definitely a lot I can do about that. Like, this would be a good idea. I could start on uh, making more. Why are you so idle? Why are you not coming in? You are just desperately trying to pick up. You can't pick up more than what you already have. Are picking up. This one is also picking up as much as it can. So I'll, I would need to make like a completely different build for this in order to get more blue belts. All right. I did not anticipate that blue belts would be my issue, but uh, you know what? What I can do is I can continue this one. Uh, we all know what's going to happen. It's going to be back and forth and spider chance. This is uh, basically a lot of idling. So let me, uh, let me do that. And then when we come back next time, we can be focused on trying to get all the things input here that we need and uh, hopefully we'll also have this one running out by the ne next episode so that means i'll be doing some things before sunday and uh, then we can do the stone breaks and stone minings to get in there and then get the purple signs operational next time right now it doesn't do much it's just here but i also have the advantage that if you notice some glaring errors with my pathing or that kind of thing then uh, you're very welcome to let me know so with that, I will be wrapping this episode up. I think we did a amazing design here and uh, then found an interesting new bottle, like the, the production speed of blue belts. That is super weird. But uh, hey, it's, it's something we'll have to deal with as well. So thank you very much for watching. I will be seeing you guys next episode. If you like it, you know, hit the like button as usual, as you are very good at doing. So thank you very much for that. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and as always, stay effective.